Rockwood Ultralight Model 2604 WS here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, I do want to apologize in advance. It may even be happening right now. It's a beautiful sunny day, but it is unfortunately a little gusty windy. And uh, I like to get to these trailers as soon as they come in. You know, if I have a chance to reshoot this on a nice day, I will. But uh, we move so many in and out so fast, I don't always have the opportunity to do that. One thing I want to mention, there's a ton of up uh, options and upgrades present on this unit in this video. Not standard stuff. Uh, not every single 2604 is going to look like this. Pictures might look different. Always check our listing and check our MSRP sheet that we do post for you so that you know what you're getting. First of all, big huge difference, this is an Emerald Edition. This is not a common 2604 WS. Emerald Edition is what's giving us this beautiful vanilla ice cream uh, sidewall, the milk chocolate nose cap, uh, the frameless windows, solid surface countertops, a lot of beautiful cosmetic items like that. Um, we are also, uh, on this one, we're seeing nicer, cool uh, magnetic holdback latches. So this is a true one-hand operated door. That's all there is to it. It's also fully laminated. You notice how this wall it goes all the way through. That means that this is fully insulated. And that's a recurring theme you're gonna see in this Rockwood. The entire thing is laminated with the exception of the front cap wall, because obviously there's a cap, but there is an aluminum uh, structure all the way through that. We have a big basement storage area here. This is also a good chance to see how this is put together. All aluminum structure, you know? And it's all welded aluminum. It's not bracketed aluminum. Let me zoom in here to give you a shot of that. Uh, bracketed aluminum wiggles over time, it falls apart. Um, bracketed aluminum is obviously not my favorite type of construction. All LED lighting. Anytime you're inside this camper, you're going to get all LED lights. They are good quality, um, bright light fixtures. The uh, we got a wind gust here. I'm trying to ride it out. Give me just a minute. The, this is a little solar prep space right here. What that's going to do for us is uh, allow the opportunity to plug in a little suitcase solar box to keep your battery trickle charged. Now it's not like I can run my AC uh, thing like that. No, it's not made for that. It's just to keep the battery topped off for a little bit of lights at night. Um, 30 pound tanks instead of 20s. Now in lightweights, and remember Rockwood is a lightweight and it's actually in fact the king of lightweights. This is the number one lightweights. Someone asked me the other day, why, you know, why don't you guys ever have used Rockwoods? You talk about them so much. That's because you don't trade up from a Rockwood, you trade up to a Rockwood. You're looking, this is the mountaintop, guys. In lightweights, this is the mountaintop. Rockwood is a brand everyone else is chasing. They're the number one selling travel trailer and fifth wheel. If uh, someone else is producing a lightweight, they're trying to steal from Rockwood's market. They are the kings. Um, things like this are the reasons why. They still put a front window on, on their campers, and that adds so much extra uh, light to the bedroom. Um, it's gonna really help it feel open. And on a 26 foot camper like this, that is an important feature, because a 26 foot uh, camper's bedroom can feel close. Now you have to build a better coach to get away with doing that because that window is another potential flex point. So you have to build a more rigid structure. That is why you're going to see things like this. This is not pinch roll lamination. This is all vacuum bonded. Call for details on those two different processes. I just can't explain it with that amount of time in this video. But most lightweights have a fully laminated sidewall. Walk over to the side of the slide out right here, like, uh, uh, you know, and push on this. A lot of lightweights, this whole wall wobbles, but in a rockwood, it's fully laminated. It's fully structural. That means it's fully insulated. It's stronger. It's built better. It lasts longer. Now, yeah, is a rockwood a dollar more? You betcha. It's a better coach. It's built to last longer. We have a fully enclosed underbelly here. There is uh, a level of heating, mostly so you like your heating tanks. You see, we do have the roof ladder up here. Hello, sir. <laughs> Pardon me. I always make sure I greet folks that come through. Um, we have a roof ladder here because this does have a fully walkable roof. Uh, wind gust, I'm sorry. I'm trying to shield the camera here. Let's just go ahead and cut over to this side of the trailer. Sorry about that. We have aluminum wheels on torsion axles. This is $500 more per axle that we're looking at compared to a leaf spring. That's $1,000 of your trailer right here in this shot. This is a better riding, longer lasting, better handling system. It will tow better down the road. It parks better when you're jackknifing into a parking space. It absorbs the shocks and jolts going down the road before it gets translated into the sidewall of the camper and forward into your truck. Um, right here we have a little outdoor grilling station. The grill is going to come included with this. You'll actually see it in a box in the shower in this video. Notice you have an extra long mounting rail here and Rockwood gives you a work table outside, a little utility table, and it's a resin top. It's not press board, it's not particle board. If it rains on this, if you leave it out overnight, it's not gonna swell and fall apart. This costs a dollar more. It's a better product. That's what you get in a Rockwood. Now, I have it set up for right-handed people. Right-handed people, 
they flip a burger with the right hand and set the tongs over here. Left-handed people, there you go. That's all it takes. Now it's a left-handed grill. Nobody else does that for you. Um, this bracket right here is designed for an outside TV. The TV inside, the whole swing arm lifts off, mounts out here outside. So you have indoor, outdoor TV. So you're standing right here, grilling, and watching the race, watching the game, never missing a beat. We have a higher grade power awning on a Rockwood. A lot of lightweights have power awnings. They give them away like candy today. But uh, it's, it's the quality of the motor that differs. There's like a 300, 600, 900 series. Rockwood uses the best one. Easy way to tell, ask the salesperson to put power to this trailer and push the button. It'll move out faster. I don't have the lights on right now. I'm saving some battery power. Not that it matters because these are LED lights. This has a full LED strip along the base of the awning. Now because this is white and this is bright and it's high gloss, you see how you see that reflection right there. This is going to cause so much light to just cascade down and give you a soft glow on your patio site. Let's step inside here. Dry weight on this RV, walking by the sticker, is 5787, so just under 5,800 pounds, as this one is built with these upgrades, so that can vary from the brochure weight. As we're passing through, this is called the Willow color scheme. It's a light medium, medium light, whatever you want to say, like leatherette sofa, with a slightly darker but still pretty moderate accent colors here. Uh, we're looking at cherry woodwork, which is another thing that can vary, and we're looking at wood plank linoleum. Rockwood will give you a choice of all those different things. Some might be stone, some might be wood. Again, if the pictures look different, this video is just a generic video. Keep that in mind. Um, standing back here, you instantly get a sense that this is, this is a cut above. People walking all the time go, oh, this is something different, and they're absolutely right. Uh, we've got a nicer, more heavy-duty freestanding table here that is uh, designed to hold a little more weight and be a little more functional. We have full pull-out extension drawer here just to make everything easier to get to. And look at the thickness of the, the cushions, like on your dinette. They're 50% thicker than what you get in almost any other camper, lightweight or otherwise. This uh, Rockwood uses a different height of bed The advantage to the Rockwood height of bed is twofold. First of all, it is memory foam, and that's not really what I was getting at, but I did want to mention it's not an air bed, but it maintains a storage drawer below. They had this custom design just for Rockwood. You know, it's a dollar more. You get stuff for it, though. You're not just paying money to pay money. This is also um, a one flush movement pull-out hide-a-bed sofa. I only have one hand. I prefer to do two when I do it, so pardon me there. Um, common living, uh, rear living room with big rear window. But I do want to mention, now the funny thing is, these are UV tinted windows. We can see out of them, but unless you got your nose pressed against the glass, you can't see in them. Notice that this window does open. The windows in the sides of the slide do open for ventilation, so you can get better airflow in a Rockwood. You also will see things like an extra roof vent here in, this, in the ceiling of the living room. That costs a dollar more. You can see that it's, you get the benefit from it. Notice not just your upper kitchen doors, but all of your doors are all hardwood constructed. You know, they don't just give you fancy looking doors up here in the kitchen. When you shop, people look up. When you use your camper, people look down. But they don't chintz. Everything is the same. They don't, you know, try it. There's no lipstick on a pig going on here. And this won't fail. This thing is built like a tank. You know, again, the roof. You can't get away with doing that in a cheaply built camper. You can't. Um, you know, very few people try to compete with Rockwood on a construction level. What they try to do is to build a camper that costs a dollar less and looks pretty enough that you don't even question it. Another thing going on here, and it's very slight, um, here's an easy way to tell. This has a vaulted roof. You see how this piece of wood gets taller as you go across here? How it's bigger here than here. That's because you get an extra three inches of interior height in here. This is LED lighting, so you have good quality lighting even during the day like this. This particular RV has a seven cubic foot refrigerator as opposed to a six. When you see those retro style handles, that's your giveaway. This is the seven cubic foot handle versus the six. And it's that kind of stuff that will never be on Jeopardy that I'm paid to remember. Uh, when you get an extended countertop in Rockwood, first of all, notice this is True Corian. Part of this uh, Emerald package is an upgrade to True Corian countertops, like a luxury fifth wheel, basically, but in a lightweight travel trailer. Um, when you get the extended countertop, the counter material matches this material. So there's no like mismatching anything. Um, <clears throat> you see here how we have the, uh, you know, X, the um, pull out hardware. Uh, up here, we have uh, an undermounted American Stonecast sink. 
The advantage of an American stone cast sink is unlike plastic, it's not going to melt. And plastic's what you usually find in lightweights. So if you're cooking spaghetti or, or anything like that, pour the water over here. It's not going to melt the sink. It's fine. This is a flush mount glass top stove cover that maximizes your total counter space. You actually have more countertop space in this 26 foot rear living room camper than most fifth wheels. Um, this is also a 22 inch oven, not a 16. Again, everything in a Rockwood is a cut above. Um, their air conditioners are dual ducted. You see you have twice the air ducts that uh, most lightweights have. Most lightweights only have one ducting run down, running down one side of the trailer. This gives you better AC flow through the entire RV. Um, over here, notice that the big uh, Furion brand television, Furion's super big in RVs right now. They build very good quality appliances designed for RV use. This thing can be frozen solid, immediately heated to 80 degrees and shaken at three Gs, meaning three times the force of gravity won't fail. It's awesome. It's designed to be bounced down the road. It's an RV television. And that's what most lightweight brands won't use because it costs a dollar more. But when you get to your campsite, I mean, you want the TV to work. That's what this is made to do. This is made to be bounced down the road and traveled with. Um, uh, upgraded stereo here. Well, it's standard for Rockwood. Most guys won't pay for this stereo, but it's all in one. AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth. It has like a 30 yard range. So you can keep your phone in your pocket and still play music wirelessly. Remember that little swing arm I was telling you about? You see this right here? You can turn the TV so that the guy sitting in the corner of the dinette here still gets a good look at it, which normally is not the case. They give you a cool little flip down uh, utility center here. You can put like a satellite brain here. You can feed your cables up through the entertainment center if you want. You have a handy little phone charging center if, or, you know, laptop or device charging, whatever. Um, I think we've pretty much killed the living room. I need to keep on moving here. Um, the uh, shower. This is a fifth wheel shower in a travel trailer. That's kind of hard to find, especially in a lightweight. This, this is really nice. Give you a good size medicine cabinet so you can keep your countertop space free because they used as much countertop space as they could to give you a big honking sink so you can actually wash your hands. Um, behind the, uh, the uh, foot flush stool, we actually have linen space to keep towels. And up here, you see that we do have a full size Creative Breeze fan. Now, what's super cool with the Rockwood, you see these fins back here? In a Rockwood, when you get the Creative Breeze fan, you also get the Max Air roof cover built right onto it from the factory. This is saving you 60, 70 bucks per install. So if you have two vents you want to put on, double that. Anytime you have the big power vent fan in Rockwood, you get the big uh, vent cover. Um, even your hardware, notice how this is not a plastic strap with a button snap like you usually find for pocket doors. It's something nicer. It's something that's not going to fail over time. And you do have privacy for your front bedroom. So you can have a fully private middle bathroom with a fully private front bedroom, which again, in a 26 foot lightweight is usually not found. Um, your second slide here, this is your second slide up, pure storage. This is a wardrobe slide. It is uh, about 18 inches deep, about four feet wide, about four feet tall, maybe five wide, something like that. But it's just nothing but pure closet space. Now what I like is how the bottom of it is raised up unlike the, the closet of a fifth wheel. Fifth wheel closets start at the floor. Well, you have to like take a knee to get down there. And in this space, that would be not really conducive to anything. So the fact that this is up, it gives you a functioning shelf. Um, this side of the bed here you see does have power outlets so you can run your CPAP machines and whatnot. Notice the hardwood door trend continues up through the bedroom. Again, they don't, they don't stop that just because it's inconvenient somewhere. But, you know, let me show you something. Let me lift this up. First of all, the bed is on struts, so it's easy to lift. But notice that under your bed, it's all aluminum structure. Under your dinette, it's aluminum structure. Um, you know, where they have to uh, punch a screw through the aluminum, like right here, they'll stuff it with wood so that it has, the screw has something to bite into. Uh, under your bed here you have, oops, you have uh, supreme storage, you know, you, you have more functional storage space than anything else in this class. This is the best built, best appointed thing in its class. This is the one that everybody's chasing. This is the one that no one has yet matched. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camp.